a lot of breathing. We stressed mouth to mouth. We stressed the whole, we got to get them oxygen. And that makes sense relatively, you know, when we're talking about perfusion issues, right? But what we found in the last 15, 20 years is we can look into that uh, hemoglobin and we can see that hemoglobin, which is the cell in the blood or the, the molecule, mm-hmm. right, that holds oxygen, it has about four times the amount of oxygen carrying capacity that we ever thought it did before, right? So the idea behind this then is that when you die, if you die right now, you go into cardiac arrest, your heart stops, you're dead, but you have oxygenated fluid in you. All I need to do is circulate that fluid. And I circulate that around your body once you drop one O2, then you drop another O2, then you drop another O2, then you drop another O2. And what we found is with the oxygen that's currently in your system, I can keep you going for about eight to 10 minutes. Now, before you've, before your before you're out cells of have offloaded all the oxygen to the tissue at this point. Now you truly don't have any 